Hello everybody, Arctic here, and welcome to 10 Facts About Uncharted 3. Yes, Uncharted 3 came out November 2011. It was re-released on the PlayStation 4 October of 2015, and it has received critical acclaim. It averages about a 92% on Metacritic. Really, really, really popular game. So, on to the facts. Number one. The demo for the game actually premiered on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon on December 14, 2010. The second demo also was debuted on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, um, June 15, 2011, because apparently they like Jimmy Fallon, or Jimmy Fallon likes it. I don't know. Number two. In Chapter 12, uh, the Ramsey ship is called the Sea Ward. The Sea Ward. The Sea Ward, yeah. And this is likely a reference to the Sea Ward joke from Arrested Development. Yeah, the, there's a character who has a boat also called the Sea Ward. Number three. At the end of Chapter 9, when you're on the bus, you can see a Sackboy doll hanging from the front window. Yes, a Sackboy from, like, the Little Big Planet. Um, he's just hanging right there. So, you know, look, he's cute. Number four. The motion cap for the game was done actual Hollywood style, like Hollywood production. They took things to the next level and a lot of things for this game, uh, proving so with going full full on with the motion cap and full on with everything else. Just really turned it into a much better game. Not saying the others were bad, but this one just took it to another level. Number five. In chapter five, after you find the map in the secret library, um, Charlie will yell, or it's a trap. Which is most likely a reference to um, Star Wars, you know, um, uh, Return of the Jedi, you know, when Admiral Akbar, oh, it's a trap! Possibly my favorite line from that whole movie. It's a trap! It's a trap! I was saying that for like a week after I saw For uh, Force Awakens just because I, yeah. Uh, number six. Since you don't actually need a gun in this point in the game, when you're out in the desert walking around and you're, you're doing the kind of a, uh, I'm tired walk, um, you can actually empty your clip. And if you empty the clip in your gun, he'll look at the gun, sigh, and toss it to the side and just kind of like keep going moaning about it. Just kind of funny the whole fact you can get that extra cutscene animation thing because it's not really needed. Number seven. Right before you start climbing the runes at the beginning of chapter 8, you can see a sign on the gate that ironically says, Climbing Forbidden on the Runes. Number 8. After the big bar fight at the beginning of the game, if you walk over to the other side of the bar, instead of following Sully, you can find a newspaper that reads, um, Scientists Still Struggling to Understand Deadly Fungus. And I believe I covered this in another video. I had deja vu as soon as I was reading this. I just can't figure out which video I did it in. But this is a reference to um, uh, The Last of Us. Uh, the Easter egg was planned to be removed by the development team before the game was shipped because they were not planning to reveal the game until much later. They forgot about it, released the game, and it was still in. Pretty well hidden, though. Number 9. So in Chapter 12, there's a glitch where in crushing mode, he will say, you know, I'll see you, buddy. Just don't turn around. Well, in normal mode, there's actually an enemy that's standing there. And, you know, so, yeah. In crushing mode, for some reason, the enemy isn't there. But he still addresses the enemy. It's kind of weird. Just a little glitch. Number 10. Now, this one is the one that blew my mind. This one, doing the research, just completely shattered any framework of a mind I had. Okay. We know how the data, and we know how data is, and we know how much data there, you know, how data has evolved over time. Now, think back to 2010, 2011, when this game came out. What you expected from a large, you know, like a like a hard drive or something like that. Okay, now think about that for a moment. Now realize. Just before the game's release, the co-president um, released a picture of the company's network drive for uh, on Twitter for the game, and it showed that Uncharted 3's assets used roughly 25 terabytes of data. Their hard drive, like I think, had like oh hold on, yeah, it had like 70 something gigs left. Um, yeah, I mean, just think about that: 25 terabytes. If there's any, 
if there's any reason that you can think that, you know, oh, it should have appeared on Xbox, yeah. Do you know how many discs it would have had to have been? They probably used the whole, you know, the whole dual-layer Blu-ray. Holy cow. That's a lot of assets for a game. Anyways, thank you all for watching this. If you liked it, go ahead and smack that like button, because you know you want to. And if you have any suggestions for a game I should cover, or something else, because I've I'm, I'm, I'm got other things in the work I've been planning, um, go ahead and leave them down below. And yeah, I will get to them, trust me. And as always, you have fun, and I will see you later. Bye!